Hi there. This video is going to give you a quick overview of the different areas of the Scratch environment. So over here on the right hand side we have the stage and this is the area where uh, all the action is going to be taking place. This is where the, the sprites are and they will be executing the code that you write for them over here on the stage. The center part of the screen is the workspace, and this is where you will be writing your code and assembling uh, all the structure of your code for each of the different sprites. It's important to note that as you click and select on different sprites, you will be having the different code show up that's associated with that particular sprite. On the far left hand side, you have the, uh, all the available code blocks that you can use, and we'll be talking more about these code blocks in another video. Up at the top you ha do have three different tabs. The code tab where you can see all the blocks that are available. The costumes tab where you can get creative and, uh, and change and even make your own sprites. As well as see all the costumes that are associated with each individual sprite. And finally you do have the sounds tab where you can uh, play back, record and add new sounds to your project. Over on the far right hand side at the bottom of the screen, you have the sprite tray and this is where all the sprites that are part of your project will be listed and you can see which one you're working on as they are highlighted when you click on them. You can add new sprites, you can create your own using the built-in paint program, you can get a surprise sprite from scratch as well as upload your own from another um, piece of software that you've used to create them on your computer. Finally, you do have lots of uh, additional information about each sprite. You can rename them here, as well as show or hide them as your project uh, gets larger. You can set the size in percentage for your sprite, 100% being its normal size, and you can also choose which direction you would like it to face at the beginning or at any point in your program. The X and Y coordinates show exactly where your sprite is on the stage at any given point, and as you move uh, your sprite around the stage, those numbers do change to indicate your location on the stage. You can uh, change the backdrop as well, and I'm just going to switch over the backdrop very quickly here to an X and Y grid so that we can see how the X and Y grid is overlaid onto the stage. And so as you move your sprites around, you can see exactly where they are. Again, clicking on the stage, you have code that you can write specifically for the backdrops, and you can add new backdrops to your um, project and switch back and forth using the code to make that all happen. I hope that's given you a brief overview of the uh, different elements of the Scratch website. Best of luck with your coding.